Hey everyone, welcome to our Charlotte's Web reading lesson for today. Today you will need your pencil, your Charlotte's Web book, your Charlotte's Web week two trifold, and your vocabulary sheet. Today our skill is making inferences. And I wanna talk for a second about what it means to make an inference versus drawing conclusions because just in the past couple of months we learned about drawing conclusions. When you draw conclusions you're trying to solve a mystery. You're using different clues to help you solve a problem or a mystery. For example when we were trying to figure out who kidnapped our principal you were able to look at different clues and discover clues within interviews of other teachers to draw the conclusion of who you thought uh, kidnapped our principal. And you all did a great job with that. Making inferences is similar but different. You actually, when you make, you make inferences to help you draw conclusions. So when you make an inference, that means that you're using text clues, so what you read plus what you already know, your background knowledge. So we're going to watch an example of this in this short little video about making inferences. All right, you guys, pull over. That's the bank's money right there. I caught you red-handed. You're going to spend a long time behind bars. Cut! They're not going to jail. That's not in the script. Are you serious? Check it out. First, you leap onto their car and yell, All right, you guys, pull over. And then you say, That's the bank's money right there. Then... I caught you red-handed, then nothing. See, there is no line about spending time behind bars. I guess I made an inference. I mean, look, the alarm is going off at the bank, they're running from the police, and they have bags of cash from the bank in the car. I made an inference that they were going to jail because of what they did. You made an inference? What on earth are you talking about? Well, I read the text. I thought about what I know, and so I made an inference. Oh, now I get it. Of course. In real life, they'd have to be arrested and charged. And there'd be a trial and lawyers. And before we knew for sure, they were going to jail. Hmm. What if I say, you guys are going to need a good lawyer? Yes, that works for me. All right, everyone. We'll do it again. All right. So... In that, we learned that making an inference is he took that the actor took the information that he read, what his lines included, and he so those were his text clues, what he read, based on what he already knew about when banks are robbed and what happens to the people and the fact that they're being chased by a car. He put those two together, what he read in his background knowledge, and he made an inference. And he inferred that they were probably going to go to jail. They were going to need a good lawyer. And so he was able to teach his director what it meant to make an inference. In today's chapter, you are going to make some inferences. And on your trifold for day 10, chapter 11, you have two questions that it wants you to answer. The first question is, based on the reaction of the visitors to the farm, how do people feel about the words that have appeared in the web? So the author, E.B. White, is not going to tell you word for word how they feel, that he's not gonna say the people feel this way, they feel happy, they feel excited, they feel sad, but instead he's going to describe their reactions based on what they, how they act or how they react to the words that they see on the farm. 
And so I want you to think about how you, the people felt about the words based on their reactions. The second question is, how would you react if you were a visitor to the farm and saw some pig written in the web? Not only are you going to answer how you would react, but you're also going to explain why you would react that way. All right, so that is today's lesson. I'm going to let you now get to your read aloud for today. Enjoy!